Hello heart seekers and nature lovers, welcome to Miss Kiani. My name is Karen Weinman and I am a Pampa Masayak. I am an Andean shaman who's been trained by the Cairo Indians who live high in the mountains of Peru, along with Pachamama and the nature spirits who have been mentoring me ever since I was struck by lightning. First of all, I hope you can hear me. The waterfall behind me is quite loud. Um, but it feels appropriate for today because water is a feminine uh, nature spirit and we're going to be talking about Miss Kiani. So if any of these topics are something that appeal to you and you want to know more, thank you for watching the rest of this video, but to subscribe to my channel um, so that you'll be told of when get notifications of when the next video comes out. Yes, as we explore all this beautiful path. So today we're going to talk about Miss Kiani. The first time I heard Miss Kiani, something in me just recognized it. It was just a knowing from my heart. I just recognized it and immediately knew that I wanted to work close with this, this beautiful word and this name and this vibration. Um, if that doesn't sound too ungrounded, but it just called me. Um, and so, yeah, more than probably a decade ago, um, opened my website and my uh, Facebook page and everything under the name of Miss Kiani and so I began this business and maybe two years after that began to learn what the Miss Kiani were or who they were I, I really the name just called me and um, I followed suit um, so what I'm going to share with you today it is important that you understand that I'm sharing this with you from two sources the first is from the Keros directly and let me tell you in case you don't know this that the Incans and the Keros um, did not have a written language. They today still don't. Everything is passed down and shared orally. Everything is spoken. So everything that this path holds and everything that I teach and um, everything you see on this channel I learned through someone telling me um, it has been passed down who knows from how many thousands of years back but it has been the stories have been told to generation to generation and each lineage has hold, held a certain content and handed it down and these days the Keros talk about the next the next Andean shamans coming from the from the west and here we are um, and so the stories continue you know we are we are when we are given these initiations and shown these practices, it is on the understanding that we will share them with others so that they can heal and transform. It doesn't just stop with us, it, it continues. Um, and so, yes, so I called the Miss Kiani without knowing much about them and then found out years later that Miss Kiani was a Quechua word and is the name of a tribe of feminine warriors. It's a tribe of highly intelligent, apparently highly beautiful. The male Keros always talk about the beautiful Misters and the beautiful Miss Kiani woman and were deeply, deeply revered for their feminine power. And it feels felt like a very appropriate um, community that I wanted to work with. And over the years, I've heard stories about people who were with Keros in you know, in the jungle or, you know, that they traveled to or they were on the mountains and that the Kero will suddenly go, oh, the Misters and the Miskiani are really here. And there are always places where nature is incredibly rich. You know, it's where there's a lot of building of nature and nectar and, and abundance is happening. So the Miskiani physically may not be around anymore because they are thousands of years old but energetically they are still around and there are certain um, there's certain workshops and practices that I do that I feel them arrive and and so it's appropriate um, to be talking about them in the present tense <laughs> so it is important to note that regardless of your sex we all have masculine and feminine inside. And so when I talk about this path being feminine, it does not mean it's only for women. 
it is for both sexes it is very much part of the Andean tradition that we will balance the masculine and the feminine within us and I mean right now on the planet we have a lot of dysfunctional masculine energy which which most of us regardless of our sex have taken on because we've known no better and also because we're so disconnected from um, from nature that we have forgotten what the real feminine is about it is not a feminine that is uh, defined by our heads so I can tell you a little bit about what the feminine is about but it's something that has to be experienced for you to know and embody and really understand what that is and what's beautiful about the feminine is that you know, the masculine in order to lead has to be quite solo whereas for the feminine it is all about community you you know the feminine spirit is never on its own they're always thinking about their children or their husbands or their community or their oneness with nature and so as we work with the feminine it also means that as the feminine within every one of us comes into balance it will automatically bring the divine masculine back into balance and then we will have both and on this topic I think it's really important to note that today's video I'll be talking a lot about the feminine but it doesn't mean that there aren't masculine um, nature spirits there are and I'll talk about that later on but everything is birthed from the feminine everything is conceived from the feminine and so this is where we need to start all right so so a disclaimer, do not feel like this is a feminine path where you can only be a woman, that is not true, it is for both. So, you know, the masculine aspects within us are all about leadership and this, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, asserting um, about uh, control, around definition, around rational, logical uh, aspects of our being. Whereas the feminine is all about our hearts yes it's all about trust it's all about love it's about patience um, it's about creativity it's it's all about sensuality but not only sensuality in a feminine way in a sexual way but sensuality as in the senses so working with the feminine actually wakes up our senses way beyond our intuition so working with the feminine brings a lot of guidance and a lot of wisdom and from within us and brings a power that is from within not what is out there but in here and so it is a very empowering path regardless of your sex to start to unravel balance heal the feminine that is within us and of course as the planet goes through this time of change um, I, I, do, I don't think that everybody is oblivious to the fact that the feminine is needing to wake up. It's not just that it's happening in the in the in Western civilization that women are needing to find their voices, but that in each of us we're needing to find the feminine in order to start regenerating, in order to start birthing, in order to start feeling connected and finding belonging, and holding the world in a space of love in this time of change. So that we go into a place in the future where there is a balance so as the feminine builds in you you will begin to find a balance within yourself yes it's also something that we haven't really been taught but starts to unfold it's beginning to rain on me <laughs> there's more water from the sky um, so as the feminine starts to build within you everything else will start to come back into balance as we connect with the Mischiani and we welcome the power of the feminine back into our lives so things start to come back into balance and so I hope you have found this informative it is starting to rain more and so I'm going to have to bring this to an end but it is a good start so that you know why I called it Miss Kiani and what this brings into your life when you work with it. 
don't forget you can subscribe below for when I might create a part two to this and it's when it's not raining. Uh, I feel very blessed with the rain. Um, if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below and uh, I will respond to them and look forward to seeing you at my next video. Bye for now.